Okay, hello everyone. Let's start coming together for the final session of the Sustainability Summit for Taste. Spread the word around, invite others to join us. And let's know where you're joining from, wherever you are in the world. So we know whether it's good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Okay. Let's come together. Business Sustainability Summit 2023 is around the corner. Have you registered? Finland, wow. Finland is in the house. Let's know where you're joining from. I'm going to be having two amazing guests joining me today. Charles Mianya will be joining me. Muiwa Shimolo will be joining me. Okay, Nigeria is in the house. Okay. Ghana, wow. Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul, Turkey. Okay. But I called Bradford. Bradford. Is that Bradford in uh, the US or Bradford in UK? Code de Voir. Wow. Bradford, have you, if you are in the UK, have you registered for the UK summit? October 14 is the Global Real Estate World Summit UK. So you need to register. I'm going to put the numbers on the screen. And um, let me just do that now so that you have the phone numbers to call for any of the events. Limerick, Ireland. Wow. Republic of Ireland. Wow. Okay. Scotland. Wow. Okay. Okay. So let's start coming together. Let me just put the details on the screen here. Sustainability. Sustainability Summit. 2023 Friday 29th September Okay, yeah, so London is October. I'm looking forward to it. So make sure you register and make your paper. Atlanta, Georgia. Wow, good, good, good. Tanzania, wow. <laughs> Tanzania, that's good. Okay, so zero, zero, nine, four, four, seven, four, three, five, eight. Okay. Okay, now you have the phone numbers. Kano, okay, good. So, so Service Summit 2023, Friday, 29 September. Those are the phone numbers. You can call the phone numbers also for the October event in the UK. Uh, so that's October, Saturday, October 14th, the Global Real Estate World Summit UK. And um, you can also call the number for the Sustainability Summit. So let's come together. Let's come together. Business Sustainability Summit for taste. Two of the uh, participants for last year's session will be joining me. And then we're going to be having a chat on the Sustainability Summit for last year and Sustainability Summit for this year so that you'll be able to take advantage of the opportunity because this is an opportunity you cannot afford to miss. So let's um, invite other people to join. 
Yeah, let's get ready to go. Everyone, please note those phone numbers. Any question you have, any inquiry you have, those are the phone numbers to reach us. You can use the phone number to reach us through WhatsApp, through text messages, or through calls. So, you're welcome. It's 8 p.m. Nigerian time. I don't know what time it is where you are. It's 3 p.m. where I am right now. And you're welcome to Business Sustainability Summit 40s for the Sustainability Summit 2023. Uh, last year, uh, if you all remember, after COVID, there were a lot of changes. And a lot of companies and organizations began to face all kinds of challenges in order to be able to stay afloat. And I was inspired to put an event together September last year called the Business <laughs> Sustainability Summit. The Business Sustainability Summit for last year was very, very successful. When we started advertising the event, it was meant to be an event that would start in the morning and end in the evening. But as we began to publicize the event, we had a lot of inquiries from people outside Lagos and we realized that we needed to make provision for that. So at the end of the day, it became uh, fully residential events. So we realized that we needed to make room for people like that to be able to enjoy the event for this year. Last year, we had um, two amazing people join me for last year's session, and it was just something else. Nambi Ezebo of Slot was there, and Tara Feladrotoe was there, and we shared a lot of amazing stuff, the realities of today's marketplace, um, seven reasons why business, um, 35 reasons why businesses fail, seven reasons why organizations stops growing, and we looked at a lot of things. It was really amazing. It was meant to be a one-off event, but as a result of the impact it made and the request of people, we realized that we should actually make it an annual event to help people navigate the stormy waters of entrepreneurship and the economic climate of our nation, Nigeria. So this year, the Sustainability Summit is coming up on Friday, the 29th of September. The venue is Sheraton Hotel, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria, and it's fully residential. So 8 a.m. on Friday, everyone is expected to come in from all over the country, and then we'll be there for the whole day. Um, the event will be wrapping up by 5 p.m. We have a two hours break from 5 to 7, and then 7 p.m. we have the coaching dinner session, which will be a VIP dinner for us that are residential and we're going to be able to have some chats. And then on Saturday morning, we also have an hangout on Saturday morning with breakfast before people check out and go. However, we also have a provision for those that want to just come for the non-residential version. That means you come by 8 a.m. and by 5 p.m. we're done. So if you want to be a part of this, you need to register now. Fully residential version is 500000 and the non-residential version is 350,000 naira. So with 500,000, it covers for your hotel accommodation, it covers for airport pickup, for those of you coming from outside Lagos, it covers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and breakfast the next day, covers for all the events and the conference materials, and I'm telling you, 500,000 is a giveaway based on the impact you're gonna have in this event. And that's why we're bringing in those that attended the event last year so that you can hear from them and then you'll be able to you know, hear their testimonials and know why you need to be a part of this. Joining me this year will be AY. Ayomakun is a comedian. Many of us, if not everyone knows him, he's been able to build himself to become a global brand and he's going to be coming to share with us how to build and sustain your personal brand because we need to understand that entrepreneurship is beyond just running a business. You yourself, you are an enterprise and you can become a conglomerate on your own. You can build wealth around your brand, around your giftings and around your uniqueness. And that is what AY has done from comedy to hosting events, to acting, to emceeing, to all kinds of stuff to real estate. So he's going to be sharing with us on how to build and sustain your personal brand. And also joining me will be Morayo Afolabi Brown. Um, she came up with an idea 
for the TV station where she was um, an executive called TVC, and they started um, a, a talk show called Your View on TVC. They celebrated 10 years this year, and she's going to be coming to share with us on how to build and sustain a media platform. Many of you want to do stuff around media, around entertainment, and this is an opportunity to come and learn from people that have done it for over a decade, and they've been able to produce global results. And then I'm going to be sharing with you amazing stuff. And you can't afford to miss this year because some of the things I'm going to be sharing with you will really help you. Number one, I'm going to be sharing with you on understanding your job description as a CEO. Many times we employ people and we give them job description, but we as entrepreneurs and CEOs hardly know what our own job description is. So I'm going to be sharing with you on understanding your own job description because many times you are blaming your staff, you are blaming your workforce. However, you are the one that is actually not doing what you're supposed to do because you are busy doing what the people you have employed should be doing instead of allowing them to do what needs to be done and overseeing them. That's one thing I'm going to be sharing with you. Then I'm going to be having a masterclass on staff recruitment and retention masterclass. If you're going to build a sustainable business, a sustainable organization, you need to have the right people on your team. And a lot of people do not realize that staffs can make or mar your business. So how do you recruit staff? How do you retain staff? Especially in this world of hybrid work where you need to employ people that will be working virtually or remotely. How do you do that in this post-COVID world? I'm going to be talking to you about that then. I'm going to be talking to you about... Um, you know, corporate governance, corporate governance or sustainability. If you are going to build a sustainable business and a sustainable organization in today's world, you need corporate governance. The days of one man business, everything being around you and your wife and children, those days are over. If you want to collaborate and you want to be able to get global recognition, global partnership, then you need to build something that is sustainable. You need to put systems and structures in place so that everyone that wants to relate with you will know that there's corporate governance in place. So I'm going to be talking to you about corporate governance, the place of corporate governance, how to set up boards, all the different kinds of boards that exist, and how you're going to be able to help your business to be better positioned for global acceptance. Can you imagine all this in one day? So if you don't come, you'll be the one that will miss. I'm telling you that. So let me see if... Um, my guests are here. I'm going to be bringing uh, Muiwa Shimolowo, and then I'm going to be bringing Charles Nyaya. Um, I'm going to be bringing them on board. What hand do you are using? Um, Ashimolowo should be coming on board now. But Charles, let me know which hand do you are using. Charles Nyaya, what's your hand do that you are using to join us? Yeah, it's my pleasure today, sir. Ashimolowo. Yes, yeah. sir. The one and only. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? Yeah, we are. We are trying to stay afloat in <laughs> a, a deregulated economy. <laughs> yeah, yes, in so. a, 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 a post-subsidy Nigeria. Yes, so. Maybe you have you who have voted for renewed hope. So yes. let your hope be alive. <laughs> be alive. How is it? How is family? How is business? Yeah, we thank God, sir. We thank God, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Um so while we are while we are waiting for Charles here, I, I don't know. Uh Charles, if you are online already, let me know what your handle is. Text it on the screen so that I can see your handle and I can invite you. Let me know which hand you are joining us with. So, um, we were, uh, let's start with introduction because it's possible that some people don't know you. So, let's know who you are, what business you do, and what your organization is all about. Okay, um, my name is Ashimolu Adimuiwa. I am the chairman of Mabis Gold Homes Limited. So, basically, our organization, uh, we are focused on helping low and middle income and uh, begin their journey to become a landlord uh, we believe that uh, with the current situation of nigeria it takes little tax for somebody who earns below five hundred thousand to become a landlord 
And as things are going forward, people don't even know that they deserve to become a landlord. Uh, because tenancy is cheap. Tenancy is cheap when you are young. But when you are getting to 55 and 60, when you are out of job, that's when you now realize that landlord is cheaper. Mm. Mm. So we help people who earn below 500,000. We help them to begin their journey to become a landlord. And we guide them after buying the land. We guide them to be able to build their land um, using about 2 million naira per annum, spending 2 million naira per annum, and over five years, we believe that they can actually become um, a landlord. Uh, because most of the houses they are even are today, it took the landlord maybe about four, five, six, seven, eight years to build it. I mean, Rome was not built in a day, but it was built. So basically, that's what we do. We help them low income with 50,000 per month, 100,000 naira per month. They can become a landlord because um, through indirect labor in Ogun State on a land that is 100% dry land, you can still build a three bedroom flat with 11 million naira. Self supervised, 11 million naira. A house to live. You may not necessarily need all the POP and all the likes, but they like to live so that you don't be at the mercy of landlord at the age of um, 65. Wow. Because when you are a tenant at the age of 65, obviously your grandchildren will not come and celebrate Christmas with you. Mm. 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 They won't come and celebrate Christmas with you. They won't come to your place during holiday. There's nowhere to stay. Mm. Mm. So basically that's what we do. So we educate people into planning and embarking on the journey to become a landlord. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. If you are a tenant, Charles, yeah, yeah, are you there now? I've, I, think yeah. we have I can see you, I, but uh, I, I can see you, doctor. Okay, but me, I can't can see you. I'm only seeing darkness, so let there be light. I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> I have accepted your request to join. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that you are here, but I'm not seeing. At least we are hearing you. Let's manage that one <laughs> while we are trying to sort out lights. Wow. So if you are a tenant at 65, your grandchildren cannot come and celebrate Christmas with you. That is powerful. That is powerful. That is powerful. And you can build the bedroom with 11 million. Well, let's forget POP and all the paraphernalia, just basic amenities. Wow, that's amazing. So Charles, introduce yourself to us. Who are you? What do you do? What's your organization all about? Let's meet you. Okay. Good evening, doctor. Good evening. And thank you for having me on your platform. Good evening to all the viewers out there. Yeah. My name is Charles Yanya, and uh, I am the CEO of Jack properties nigeria limited mm. we we are a company that is into real estate development and we've been into that for over a decade now wow wow uh just like my brother has also said we 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 provide Housing stock. Yeah, sorry, I'm in the car. I'm about to come down from the car, so I, I may have to change internet provider, so it may go off for a few seconds and reconnect to another network. So, um, so I'll see you by 6 p.m. And then don't forget the registration. Okay, I'm hearing you, Charles. Go on. Yeah, so. So we, we are into real estate development. We we try to bridge the gap for people who intend to be landlords. Okay. We believe that we believe that everyone needs to be a landlord. Yeah, I agree. Everyone needs to be a landlord. However, not everybody will ultimately ultimately be one. Uh, so we. we we, that, that is about basically what we do in the real estate uh, arm of uh, my company. Then I'm also 
a licensed auctioneer. Wow. And, You're uh, welcome. We. Bachelor with a fat pocket, but that is just by the way, anyway. <laughs> so I, I am, I am a, a licensed auctioneer, and I'm licensed to carry out auction sales and services within the country Nigeria. Wow. So basically, basically those are the things that the company does. Wow. So uh, I don't know why we are not seeing your face, but at least. I uh, really don't know why. <laughs> those of you that are technical people, you can help us find it out why, so that we can know what to do. Uh, because we are hearing it fine. But uh, um, let's see how far it goes with reference to the picture. Ah, yes, ah. I see his face now. Good. Okay. So I'm yeah. the lift now. It's possible that the line will go off. I'll be reconnected in another two minutes. But. Um, so you are both welcome. Um, at least we can see you clearly and hear you clearly now. Yes, thank you, doctor. Okay. So now I want to find out you both were at this hospital. Start with um, Ashimolo. How yes, sir. Did you yes. hear about the conference? Ashimolo, how did you hear about the conference? And why did okay. you choose to attend the conference? Okay. Um, of course. Um, we stand on the shoulders of giants so that we can see far. I am first and foremost a member of the Billionaire Conclave. Yes, sir. So that is the leverage through which I got into the Business Sustainability Summit. And uh, why would I hear the word Business Sustainability Summit and sit at home? Knowing fully well that more than 80% of organizations die within their first five years mm. in the same economy but in an economy like us like us <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know in an economy where the number of people who are begging money from you are limited mm. organizations are dying in five years mm. now in our economy whereby the chain of people want to collect money from you the long list. So attending this kind of business sustainability summit uh, is, is an investment you can't just walk out of. You have to make a budget for it. And again, I remember that uh, the first word you told us was the fact that the richer you become, the fewer the number of people who can put you to check and if you don't get people who will put you to check as somebody who is coming from a poor background small money will get into your head and before you know it you will kill your company by yourself so that is the reason that's the major reason why i am in the business sustainability summit because I first must acknowledge that where I am coming from, my background did not prepare me to lead a business that will go into 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, and 100 years. So knowledge must be budgeted for. Yeah. That's why I'm here. That's good. So Charles, how did you get to know about the sustainability summit and why did you register to attend? Okay. Thank you, Doctor. I I got to know about the Sustainability Summit. Uh, I actually saw it on Facebook, I think. Uh, I've been following you since you came for uh, one of those summits in Abuja, here in Abuja, sometime last year, I think. I've been following you since then, and so, I picked up that information uh, 
over the social media network. I think Facebook size that thing. And uh, you know, the, the team caught my attention. He said, Business Sustainability Summit. And I knew that that program would do you know, a lot of good things in my life. So as a businessman, I, I of course, I, I had to make you know, every effort to ensure that I was in that program. And I'm grateful to God that I did. I didn't even know that was the maiden edition of the program. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't even know. I thought it was something that had been on before now. So uh, for me, it was a privilege to have attended the maiden edition. And uh, it, did, it, it has a lot of impact in my life and in my wow. business wow. within the last few wow. years, which in the course of uh, discussion, we'll be talking about. That's so amazing. as a business man, I knew, I knew I needed to be sharpened. It's that there's a verse of scripture that says, iron sharpened iron. And I, I knew that I needed to be sharpened in some areas. I needed to skill up, you know, so that I could take my business to the next level on a sustainability level. So this were this were some of my that was my major attraction. That was my major attraction. Wow. And I'm very, very glad. I'm very glad I did. And I have a lot of testimonials to share with, with you and our good people out there. So last year, we looked at um, an amazing topic. Yes. Uh, um, let me just quickly open up. One of them was uh, understanding this marketplace because the marketplace of today is different from the marketplace before COVID. Then, there are several reasons why I can't stop growing. Then, we have reasons why businesses fail. They will look at seven ways to avoid bankruptcy. We looked at failing forward. We looked at leading in company. I think that one is even leading. Then we looked at positioning for growth. So, Matthew, uh, and Charles, can you tell me from these things that we learned last year? Which of them resonated with you? And what are the things that you learned? And I have here last one year. Okay, for me, it is why businesses fail. Uh, because uh, many a times, uh, because of our cultural and religious background, we just think it is village people that are skilling business. <laughs> So, uh, so when we when we, deliver, when we are unable to get the required, the required knowledge, knowledge, the way we manage the finances of the company, sometimes you think we are investing, but we are stagnating the company. We are strangulating the company. Uh, I, I remember we spoke about over investment in non cash flow producing assets. Yeah. You just yeah. buy, 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 and you are choking the business. When there's opportunity for expansion, you don't have cash, though you have assets. So, I mean, understanding the difference between assets and income producing assets was a game changer for me. It was a game changer for me and i can tell you uh major decisions was taken by mabis good rooms as a result of that class so 
Today, we are building, we are the, we are the biggest supplier of hostel in the newly established university, Lagos State University of Education, Otton Chariki. Just because it was from that class that the idea was ignited and powered. And today, we turned almost a quarter, we invested close to a quarter of a billion in those hostels. Wow. wow. As a result of because uh, you can just keep having assets, having assets, having assets. Are uh, these assets producing cash flow? Hmm. I remember you gave an example in class. Huh? You said somebody can have assets of 500 million. And it's only somebody 2 million. And he cannot come up with the 2 million. And the person who makes you because of 2 million. Imagine it's a regulatory agency. The company is going down. <laughs> that alone is more than the cost. For attending wow. the business sustainability wow. story. Wow. wow. So um there is a back those of you that are technology people help us know what to do because we have I don't know where the feedback is about. Charles does not seem to have so Charles, let's hear from you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Doctor. Uh Again, for me, uh, two things basically happened to me as a result of that program, that event. And those two things, I believe, would equally happen to anyone who decides to attend the Sustainability Summit 2023. And like my brother, Mui has also said, I believe that these two things also happened to almost everyone who attended the program last year. Now, the first thing that, that happened to me was that I, I was reminded of a lot of business ideas that I knew, but I was not practicing. And so, so they had adverse effect on my business. So is that as if I don't know them, but, but I wasn't practicing them. And so the, the, the ideas helped to sharpen me. Then the second thing that happened to me, and that will happen to anyone who decides to attend the program, is that the program helped to stimulate my creativity. Hmm. It helps to stimulate my creativity. And uh, doctor, you'll agree with me that creativity we're talking about is what you, you brand yourself as common sense guru. Creativity is common sense. Creativity is creative vision, having creative visions. Creativity talks about being innovative doing new things that will give you outstanding results. So these were the two major things that happened to me. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, by way of uh, the modules, when you were talking about, uh, one of the first things that resonated with me in the teachings was when you were talking about uh, the 20 reasons why businesses fail. And you made a statement, you said, if you want to build a transgenerational business, you will sell your business and relocate abroad. Mm. So, so, you know, that settled the jackpot thing for me. So mm. I, knew, I knew I was going to remain here. There's nothing wrong in traveling abroad to do business or seek education, knowledge, and all that. But that settled the jackpot syndrome for me and i knew i was going to remain here because in any case if you relocate 
get abroad. It's still the same business you will still go there and do. So if you don't learn the principles, if you don't learn the idea that will enable you to sustain your business from one generation to another, then even if you will get abroad, you will see fail. Yeah. So that resonated so well with me. Then somewhere also, you were talking about uh, fixed assets, over investment in fixed assets. Mm. That also resonated oh. well with me because at the time, uh, the company had fixed assets. But like my brother, you have said, you sometimes you need some running, you need, you need recurring cash to run on. You are you cash trap, but here you are, you have investments that you cannot just turn over into cash overnight. And so that, that also was affecting my business. So it was one area that I began to make amends after the summit. Another thing that resonated so well with me was you made a statement again that you said, you know, from local to global. And I said, wow, I think it's time to go international. It's time to go global. And start ending in Yes. Yes, you can imagine if you end hard currency, US dollar, British pound in these times. You know, so I, again, it was a big takeaway for me because I needed to begin to put machinery in place, begin to put things in place that will take my company from the local level to become an international player. And so, we, as we go on, there, there are so many things. There are so many things that resonate okay. everything. But I just let me mention okay. this for now. As now we I'm telling us that, telling us that us when I want to speak, you should mute your mic. So maybe what we'll do okay. is as you will we'll mute your mic. Okay. okay. Whether it will help us. All right. And try to sound off. Hello. Okay, I, think, Hello. I think my mic is, is all right. Okay. 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 We are good now. We are good. Good. Now, even a profitable business can go bankrupt when yes. there is no cash flow. Sir. Yes, sir. One of the highlights for me was Baba from Ilani last year. You remember Baba? Yes, 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 and yes. We thought how that his money over one point something billion has been devalued because of dollar going from uh, uh, 300 and something or 400 to about... Six. Now, do you know what Baba's money will now be now that dollar has got to... Baba's buy? money is now $1 million. <laughs> so, Baba's money Baba's over a million is dollars now $1 million. Dollars. And you know, I was telling Baba last year that it will happen. You remember? Yes. I was telling Baba that look, go and enter into the because by next year dollar will go to one thousand. Now, you know, look at where we are. So it's very very important for everyone listening to us right now to understand that the business sustainability summit this year is not something you should miss because the challenge I have with people is they will hear things like this. A lot of people I don't know they think hey, what are they going to say there? Uh, Five hundred thousand. If you are a businessman, you are a businesswoman. You are an entrepreneur and paying 500000 for a fully residential event to sleep in a five-star hotel is a problem for you. I doubt your entrepreneurship. It must be that you are just a trader and you are just trying to survive. But entrepreneurs, you can't spend 500000 to come and develop yourself and work on yourself because you cannot grow the business beyond yourself. If you don't grow, your business cannot grow. And many of us entrepreneurs are the ones limiting the growth of our business. So if your mind as an entrepreneur is already thinking that 500000 is too much to spend for a fully residential training, that mindset alone cannot grow a business. <laughs> so you need I to think, take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah. I think one of the major problems that um, we need to settle as a people is the fact that there is so much focus on what I will gain from attending a training. So it's important now that we begin to think also of what the training will not make me to lose. Hmm. 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 
Because one of the major things for me at the last Sustainability Summit was the fact that it helped me to separate my money hmm. from my business gold homes. Hmm. 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 You know, it helped me to separate both. Because most of the time, as entrepreneurs, I uh, just keep seeing the cash flow, and you begin to spend it. Mm. So from the business sustainability summit, I gave myself a salary, mm. and mm. I, I now had people who are accountable, who I'm accountable to, mm. because I keep saying it for, for children who are coming from my own background. Mm. You need somebody who will be looking over your shoulder. Mm. You need somebody that you are too afraid to see that you are too afraid to face when you fail. Mm. And that's what the billionaire conclave and the business sustainability uh, gives to you. Because it affords you the opportunity to see people who are doing billions every year mm. still hungry. I mean, I've never seen that kind of an organization anyway, where you know you'll be in class and beside you, you are seeing people who are doing billions <laughs> every year. You are seeing somebody. I remember the, the 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 coaching we had in the evening <laughs> after dinner. <laughs> that is the active session. Yeah. Where you started asking everybody, what are you worth? Tell us what you are worth. Tell us what you are worth. And you'll be shocked. You just, somebody just raised up his hand and the person is saying, I'm worth a billion naira. I am worth two billion naira. So it has to keep your sanity. <laughs> it has to keep your sanity. You know, because when you are coming from a poor background and you begin to have small change, your, your, your people who have not left that level, they begin to psych you, they begin to hail you, and you want to fund every city. <laughs> and that's how businesses, that's how they die. You know, the business sustainability summit, for those who are listening to me, one of the things you will gain is that it will help you to rethink your vision. Hmm. It will help you to rethink your vision. If there are some things that you can't even you can't do even when you read it from a book until you see people who are doing it physically. Yeah. Yeah. Until you see people who are doing it physically. So um joining the uh, Dr. Olumide Emmanuel Gang, uh, it's more than it, 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 what it offers inside the class and outside the class is unimaginable. <laughs> I remember at Grip when Mr. Um, Ezekiel, mm. when Mr. Wisdom, the, 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 the wise man was asking us that, how many of us is making one billion naira in rent? <laughs> he was not telling us that he knows somebody who is actually making one billion naira in rent in Abuja. And the phone week after grip i went to a place and I actually saw somebody who is collecting rent of 100 million from a single building yeah See? <laughs> this thing <is> true. <laughs> you know when they teach you something and you are seeing people who are practicing that knowledge it gives you the energy to be able so that's why i say sign up now sign up now drop the amount you have now you can never lose. You yeah. can never lose. The network alone. The network alone. Sign up now. Because taking the business to the next level in this economy, you just need more and more and more and more. When the going gets tough, the tough cannot keep going. The tough <laughs> must go and borrow brilliance. And <laughs> The next brilliant bus stop is the Business Sustainability Summit. Sign up now. Wow. So, Charles, um, how important is, because you came from Abuja, you paid, so how 
important is paying for an event. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, paying for an event is is very very vital because when you pay for an event, you pay attention. Mm. Mm. Most uh, times, when events are free, people take them lightly. They, they usually have a casual approach towards that program. But when there is a money tag on it, you tend to you look at the worth of your money that you intend to invest. And so that helps you to pay attention. So it's very key. Uh, uh, knowing you, I know that this kind of summit are things you would ordinarily, you can do for free. You have that mind, you know, that, that, that mind. But if you don't put a money tag to it, people will come in casually. While the election are going on, they will be, be Facebooking, they will be doing some other things on social media because they didn't pay. Because they didn't pay. So paying for an event is key. And paying 500000 for a program like this is, uh, is, is, is very, is very mild. It's moderate. Because the, the the benefits outweighs the merits outweigh the demerits. The things you will gain, the things you will learn to do and not to do, because there are do's and don'ts mm. of this. Day. So you will learn the do's, you will learn the don'ts, and and these. Like uh, Muiwa said, a lot of these things that like, you won't necessarily be able to understand from the pages of a book. But when iron sharpens iron, when you sit under the tutelage of people like Dr. Olumide and the other invited guests that he will bring into, you know, to, to, to be part of the summit, you can be sure to tap in from their wealth of experience. And you are sure it is it, it, something you're let, let, letting call. There are some things that really will take you the next five, ten years to learn if you want to learn them by yourself. But by virtue of these kind of programs, you get to meet with iron, sharpening iron, iron, sharpening iron, bringing, refining you and bringing out the best in you. Like someone asked a question last year in that class. He said, he said Sir, in your own opinion, what would you consider to be the best form of investment? <laughs> and you said, the best form of investment is self-investment. Personal development. Self-investment. Other forms of Investments are good, but self investment, personal investment is the best form of investment. And you know that resonated so well with me. And I told myself, okay, so we need to get back to the drawing board again. The learning process starts all over again. Any available opportunity that I have to learn, to invest in myself, so that I can also impart the same into my working style, then I will do that. So I, I wouldn't have, uh, if I had read that on the pages of a book, I do not think that it should have resonated with me the way it did in class that day. So the, that, that alone, I can tell you, has, I, I think part of it is what has also brought me on this interview this night. Hmm. 
Because I'm not sure you had, if I didn't attend that summit last year, I'm not likely to be on this platform tonight on your platform, but you won't be. <laughs> I won't be here. <laughs> so I, I was I, I was investing in myself. I didn't know I was going to be here today live with you. I just started following you barely a year ago. I just started following you barely a year and maybe six months or so. So self investment very very key so for a program like this i i five hundred thousand euros is taking change for anyone to consider in this kind of investment because you will meet with like minds the company you keep they say determines what are companies you you will meet people who are on the same higher frequencies. You, whatever you are, whatever whatever mark you have, you have attained. You are very likely, most likely, to see people who are operating on a higher frequency, who, who can help to sharpen you. You have an opportunity to network with participants, which is also key. You will these guys on the streets ordinarily but this, this program will bring in a lot of you know bedfellas with the same kind of mindset the success mindset so there's no there's no overflogging of this uh let me let me answer the question here. Yeah. Okay. BGX underscore the minimum factor. He says the man speaking is actually right that paying for seminar gives people more attention to details. But with the situation of the country, can a single Nigeria single pay such an amount of money? Now it is the reason why I want to answer this. Is because these are the kind of mindset that you cannot afford to have if you want to be a major player. Um, so the person speaking to you right now has just concluded a major global conference in July. From the 3rd to the 9th of July, over 62 people, 7,500, 7.5 million per person. They were at the charity. Ashimolowo year was there. We have people from five continents, nine countries, and 14 states. People that pay 7.5 million to come for one week seminar. And you are talking of 500,000 naira. And from the name I see here, you are into most likely aluminum factory. And you just heard Ashimolowo now say that there is somebody that is collecting rents of 1 billion a year another 100 million for one property and you are into aluminium and you are coming to a place where people are building 3,000 housing units, 2,000 housing units. I expect that from this kind of meeting, you should already be seeing your network to sell aluminium and become a billionaire within the next five years. So please, whosoever you are, that kind of mindset is why you need people like us so that we can help you change the software. Because that kind of software that uh, with the state of things in Nigeria, what is the state of things in Nigeria? Nigeria is one of the richest countries in the world. It is corruption that is making you to think there is no money. They have been stealing money since Nigeria began. Money has not finished. So please, <laughs> that kind of mindset with the state of things in Nigeria, everybody is not poor, and you need to separate yourself from the masses. Mm. So separate yourself from the masses. You are not separate yourself from the people that don't have money. Start thinking differently if you want to come out of poverty. Mm. So I will advise you, whosoever you are, to actually go and look for 500,000 and pay and come and spend the whole day. Come and spend 24 hours. And after, when you come, see me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm speaking now on social media. Go and look for the money and come. When you come, after the meeting the next day, I will ask you, 
whether it is worth it. If you tell me it's not worth it, I will refund your 500,000 the next day. So whosoever you are, go and look for money and pay. You will see that you will even bring more money when we finish. You don't know what you can achieve once you try. Many of you are just doing sugar sugar business. You open one shop, you are doing 50,000, you are doing aluminum, you get contract to do one bungalow, you make 700,000, and you think that is life. When people are doing billions, <laughs> my brother or sister, whoever you are, please don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. The, <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't have, you don't have any idea. <laughs> you don't have any idea the kind of money that is in this our country, Nigeria, and the kind of opportunities that we have in Nigeria. So come for this meeting. Come for this meeting. Call the number. The numbers on the screen are there. Get those numbers. Call them. Send the text. Chat them up on WhatsApp and make it a date. Your company should sponsor you to come. You should have training budget as a CEO so that your company can train you. Do you know how much Sheraton is for one night? Do go on. Maybe you should call Sheraton and Google the Sheraton phone number and call them and say, please, how much is your room for one night? Then find out how much is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 500,000. <laughs> In fact, you see, this is the reason why I don't do cheap programs. <laughs> because okay. that's why you are well, so well sir. I, I think yeah. I think you know, many of us we have actually gone to school to learn under very, very poor teachers in primary school. Mm. What teachers in secondary school, mm. poor lecturers in the university. Some of us have stayed under poor pastors also. Mm. So anything that will take us out of that pattern, it has to be a disruption. Mm. Mm. Is 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 not something we are going to accept easily. Mm. It's not something I'm going to no, we are going to accept easily, and that is why I want to say it again today that you are not going to attend the business sustainability summit because you have money you are going to attend because you don't have money it is because you don't even have money that you have to attend and i call it the isaac offering mm. yes your career needs an offering that is unimaginable and that is the five hundred thousand. Because if you have gone to a public university, it's likely that the total amount you have spent from nursery school to university is not up to 500,000. Mm. So, so there is a program in there that will say 500,000 for one day. Mm. Mm. But just like they told Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, it's time for you to go and sacrifice that 500,000. Your business Business growth will require a sacrifice. Mm. It, mm. it will require a sacrifice. I must I must confess here that the first time I paid the three thousand uh, dollars to join the billionaire conclave, it was a job. It was not ATM transfer. It was not money in the bank. Just pick and pay. No, it was, it was not easy. But clearly. I know that I cannot figure out some things by myself. Even if I'll figure it out, maybe it will take me 10 to 15 years when they say I should not eat egg, I should not eat meat. <laughs> you can't afford to become rich at 60. <laughs> you can't afford it. You will not be able to travel 12 hours on air. <laughs> so you are paying the 500,000 not because you have money, but because you don't have money is the reason you need to be in that class. 500,000 will pay the school fees of three master students in Unilife. But I tell you, you have been learning under poor teachers. It's time for you to learn under multi-millionaires and billionaires. There is something magical about there. 
there is something magical about learning under people who are who have grossed income over 500 million let me just put it like that there is something anybody that is able to earn to do cash flow of over 500 million in a single year my friend if you are from a poor background find your way to get into that class the rich does not want you to become part of them the poor does not want you to leave them so you need to take a decision yes you need to take a decision the rich does not want you to join them the poor does not want you to leave them wow you need to take a decision so that you know that it is a battle you are fighting your way into the community of the rich that's what that 500k that's what it signifies the first time i slept in Sheraton was through dr oh, lude Emmanuel. Emmanuel. and my life has never remained the same sleeping in Sheraton in may you will defeat the witches and wizards of your village because they cannot operate in that way Marriott, Marriott, they cannot operate in that realm. They can't. It is because this is the, it, it is a major problem. So you are paying that money because you don't have money. That's the reason why you should pay. Okay. The feedback. But sir, can we get a rebate for today? For those who are watching, I trust you, sir. Do something, sir. Okay. Okay. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Okay. Anybody that okay. can okay. Can anybody can 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 Friday. 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 So let's do it for the point that we are So we are, we are wrapping up. I don't know, I don't know where the feedback is. But maybe you guys should move your topic again like you did the other day. I saw something here. Okay, Adebayo 2402. Is it that? It is mind, as you said. I also want to advise the person to start at his or her level by joining your September program. I think that would be an eye opener. Well, the September program is talking about, you know, I'm also a pastor. And as a pastor, we do a lot of free things just to help people. So we have a one week fully, um, a one week um, entrepreneurship academy. One, one week entrepreneurship academy, but the registration has already closed. It's starting on Monday the 4th. Monday the 4th of September, to saturday so it's for i think five or six days and i'm going to be there for like three days so it's a full um academy and it's just fifteen thousand naira. so maybe you should start with that but the registration has closed so maybe yeah, today is today is tuesday okay call the numbers for that one if you can pay within the next 24 hours fifteen thousand naira, you can go and join them in the demo it's starting on monday 8 a.m to 2 p.m monday to friday or monday to saturday is our entrepreneurship academy is our own CSR as a church. So five days we feed people, we train people on entrepreneurship and all those stuff. So it's just fifteen thousand to register uh, because it's one hundred thirty five thousand per person, but the church subsidizes it. So we just pay fifteen so that we'll be sure you are a serious minded person. So you can take advantage of that. But this one we are talking business here, not ministry. So <laughs> um, so if you have heard, well, you can pay four hundred instead of five hundred and um, call the numbers on the screen so let me wrap up by just explaining what we are talking about to people and then i'll give you opportunity to give us your final word the business sustainability summit is coming up on friday the 29th of september at the Sheraton hotel in Kenya, lagos nigeria it's a fully residential event from 8 a.m on friday morning to saturday so 8 a.m to 5 we have the main events then from 7 p.m we have 
a coaching dinner session with me and those that are fully residential. And then on Saturday morning, we have a breakfast hangout. And then we we'll wrap it up. So with 500000 the money covers for your hotel accommodation insurance, airport pickup for those coming from outside Lagos, and it covers for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and breakfast the next day, and covers for the conference material and the entire conference. If you don't want to be a resident, then you pay um, 400000 So fully residential is 500 Non-residential, we do that for three fifty. So if you are not resident, let's do that for three fifty, and then um, that means we'll be there from eight a.m. to five. But you will not be part of the dinner coaching session, and you will not sleep in your hotel, and there is no airport pickup for you. So that is for those that are non-residential. So and five hundred thousand is for fully residential, four hundred thousand for non-residential. But now we are doing fully residential for four hundred. If you pay between now and Friday and um, non-residential for 350. Call the numbers on the screen. Joining me this year will be AY. Ayomakun will be joining me. He's going to be sharing on um, how to build and sustain your personal brand. And then Moraya Afolabi Brown will be joining me and sharing on how to build a media platform. Um, so these are two people that will be joining me and I'll be sharing with you on understanding and doing your job as a business leader. Let me just run you through my module. It's powerful. The module is powerful. Let me run you through. Um, okay, yeah. So understanding and playing your role as a business organizational leader, staff recruitment and retention masterclass. Then I'm going to give you, give you a catalog of vital documents for your organization. All the documents you need, non-disclosure agreements, uh, non-compete agreements, uh, staff handbook, salary structure, policy document, everything. I'm going to be giving you all kinds of documents to help you. We're going to be looking at corporate governance, how to develop boards, board of advisors, board of directors, how to structure your business for global partnership. It's going to be powerful. So those are all the things I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be taking five sessions and it's going to be amazing. So don't miss it for anything. And um, I look forward to seeing you. I'm going to post this video on IGTV and also on my YouTube channel, uh, Dr. Lumide Manuel on YouTube. So let's hear your final word. Uh, Ashimalo, what's your final word? And Charles, what's your final word? So, so do, do your children a favor. Live a sustainable <laughs> business for them. Don't allow your children to start again from where you started. And you would need knowledge. The business sustainability summit will help you in dealing with so many issues that are confronting you today. Staff betrayal is a major issue that is confronting you, and you know it. Come and learn strategy to deal with it. Come and learn the emotional intelligence to deal with it. Managing finance is a major problem. The Business Sustainability Summit will help you. And you will be meeting great minds. I, I want to beseech you. Come. Not because you don't have money. But because you don't have the money to the reason you have to fight your way into that class. And I can tell you, on a scale of 1 to 10, you will be glad you did. You will be glad you did. I was there before. And I will be there again. Thank you. See you in class. Hello, doctor. Can I can hear you. So, okay, okay, I hear you now. okay, so for me, I want to encourage um, all the viewers out there to do all they can to see that they are part of that program. Uh, it will afford attendees the, the opportunity to have a one on one with Dr. Olumide, particularly if you are a residential attendee. I, I have that privilege of meeting him the next day during breakfast. And for a few minutes, he spoke with me and counseled me. I'd always have this passion 
working on something, but you know, I never gave life to it, and I didn't just know how to go about it. But by reason of my one-on-one -on -one session with him, he gave me very, very intelligent ideas that that has enabled me. It was like it was like the 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 the, the square. They say salt upon injury or fuel into fire. It was like he flamed up that passion that I had. And today, I've been able to set up a YouTube, you know, success, prosperity, and money channel where I share my experiences in life. Because I believe that the creator created everyone to become successful in life. Unfortunately, only about 5% of the global population are successful in their endeavors of life. Unfortunately, with all the money in the world, only about 5% research has shown of people, only about 5% are controlling 95% of the global wealth while the remaining 95% of the global population are struggling for the remaining 5% of the global wealth. That's why you find people like Bill Gates are extremely rich. You find the Zuckerberg. You find the Jeff Bezos. You find them extremely very rich. And yet you find majority of the human population struggling to eat one meal a day. This ought not to be so. The creator created everyone to become successful. But you need to learn the how-to of becoming successful. There's a how-to in everything. The how-to is what you're going to learn from this business sustainability summit. The how to of success, the how to of sustainability of that endeavor that you are involved in. So there's no need to overflow this thing. Do all you can to be part of this program. Wow. Thank wow. you. Thank you will never regret it. Thank so that's my final word. So that is so, it. That's it. Can you Yes, please put it again. Okay. okay. So that's um, the end of the discussion for today. You have the phone numbers there on the screen. Copy the numbers. Contact us. Um, last year's edition is now available. The manual and the USB, all the package for last year. Business Sustainability Summit 2022 pack is available for 250000 naira. So that will give you the pack so you can have all the messages and all the discussion for last year. And for those of you in diaspora, the one for this year, we'll package it also. It will be available three months after the event so that you can get it for those of you that cannot come because we are not going to be doing a virtual. All this virtual, virtual thing, there are some things you cannot get virtual. <laughs> you have no. to be physically, you have to be actually present. <laughs> so... I look forward to seeing you all come and be a part of this. And um, on Monday, uh, this is the last session for testimonials for the Business Sustainability Summit. But on Monday, uh, I'm starting a 10 days sustainability secrets series. Um, and um, so joining me on Monday will be Koyema Day. On Tuesday will be Yemi Davis. And then um, on Thursday, we have Godman Akilabi. Then we have um, uh, Jerry Eze. Then we have Tope Alabi. Then we have Bolaji Dowu. Then we have Oshinaga. So, and then we have K. Jisheson. So I'm bringing a lot of people together because in the month of October, it will be 34 years that I've been in ministry. I want wow. to be want to discuss sustainability secrets. What are the secrets of sustainability? When I started out in the late 80s, a lot of people were with us in the 80s and in the early 90s that are nowhere to be found now. Mm -hmm. So apart from this business sustainability summit, I also want to use the month of September to share with people 
using other people's experience or now you can sustain yourself and stay relevant for decades so every one of you if you are not following me on social media join and from monday night 8 p.m monday we start with the day of monday night uh then on tuesday will be yemi davis and then we have got one they will take it like that then jerry is i will go on and on so it's for 10 days and you need to be a part of it so 8 p.m every day from monday we'll do that and if you are coming for this summit i look forward to seeing so god bless you all go to my youtube channel you. and um, the video will be there thank, thank you. Thank you. you god bless you all yes, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. That is my answer for you. One week later, you are asked what you should have done. Call the number. Let's see what the number God bless you. God bless you all. Bye. God bless you all. Bye. 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 Bye.